You ready? Let's go. Hey guys, Tony Sawyer Size Assassin. Welcome to another episode about In the Shadow Project. So today's video is about the factory tour, a little bit background of what they do over there, and I hope you enjoy. Yeah. Let's go. Oh, thank you. Wow. Whoa. So this is the factory. Okay. Um, everything else you see is packaging. These are boxes and whatnot. Um, packaging baggies. Packaging packages. Pretty vertical zoom in our Right. Hey, Louis. Do you mind carry a microphone and explaining? No, never. Just clip on it. You guys are so high tech. We're, we're, we're blessed to have the technology. So what you have over here is these ladies are taking filler mm -hmm. and they are deveining the filler. Okay. So if you come over here and you watch them, como estamos? Bien, 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 bien. So they take the vein out. Oh, these are large. Uh, that all gets thrown away. So that's all they're working on here is just deveining and then the tobacco is distributed by a gentleman. Right now they have enough to work, mm -hmm. but there's always somebody here giving them tobacco. And so they'll sort of batch and give you he, he sorts them out. So this is Ligero, okay. LC, Ligero Cubano. Okay. So it's Piloto Cubano, that's 15. 15 is the size. Oh, okay, so there's okay. a size difference There's too, a okay. size difference. There's a 15, there's a 16, there's an 18, there's 17. Just like the where I told you about the cuts of wrapper. Mm -hmm. So you get a four, five, a six, for example. Okay. Same thing functions with, with filler. Okay, all right. So this is it. These are the rollers, and they work in pairs. So one guy is going to be doing, or one girl, is going to be doing the bunching, mm -hmm. and then the other gentleman is going to be doing the wrapping. How do you know which one is which pair? <laughs> They're next to each other. But then right next to him, there's nobody. One, two, one, two. Oh, gap out that much? OK. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Yep. So he's doing the bunching, mm -hmm. All right? And then this young man does a rolling. Yeah, on a beat. There's, there's some. And, and see, there's a little bit of rhythm to it. Yeah. So they work in pairs. He's got to be singing his head. It looks like he's on a beat. <laughs> oh yeah, he's on a beat. He's on a beat. Wow. So throughout, they're all doing different blends. Mm -hmm. But um, like you what, say, what they the, don't know what they're doing. No, what they're told is, instead of telling him you're going to use 40%, 30%, 20%, you're making this, mm -hmm. they're given a certain number of leaves and they're saying use two of these, half of this, one of this, mm -hmm. and those are the percentages. And so they just go. Okay. So they just go. So it goes all the way through. I'll show you the aging rooms in a bit. That is the foreman. In green. Okay. So he does. And, and the he, his job manager, is to basically. check every single cigar. Okay. All right. Um, come this way. Gracias. It's actually a cool shot, only because of all the molds. I think it's pretty cool. So we use a mixture of the plastic and the wood mm -hmm. for the molds. Um, and there's of uh, different sizes. Do they make any difference to use the plastic or the wood? The plastic's gonna last longer. Okay. The wood, you've got to hone every once in a while. Okay. But ultimately, you just have a mix. The, the plastic, it never wears out. These do, and eventually you're gonna have to buy them. They'll last for years. And then sometimes when they get out of, out of whack, out of sorts, mm -hmm. then the guy who makes them comes in, takes them, cleans them up, and gives them back to you. Oh, wow. Yep. 
before the plastic ones ever existed, we had these. But you'll see a lot of plastic ones out here. Right, I noticed that. Yeah, there's, there's a mix. So more raw tobacco. This is where, and right now they don't need to do it, but they'll do it sometime this week and I'll show you. Mm -hmm. So they're all laid out here. These lamps emit a tremendous amount of heat. Mm -hmm. That's shut down and all the ammonia evaporates. So normally when this is full, and it will happen this week, uh -huh. when this is full of tobacco and you step in here, the ammonia is horrific. But that's what dries it out. Okay. And even oh, though they're so already dried and ready, okay. you give it that extra next step. So these are those outside where they're... Eventually, yes. Okay. Yes. So this will go through... So this is already dry and you guys make it more dry? Yes. Now these have already been de -vinged. They've already come from those ladies over there. Okay. So eventually, before we use that product that those ladies mm -hmm. were doing, it's gonna come here, and from here it's gonna go in there, and it gets extra dry. Okay. Well, Follow? Once it's that dry, how do you wrap it because they're dry? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's see, come here, show you. Vas a salir en las redes sociales ahora. Está bien. So, the tobacco is very dry. Mm -hmm. That's the binder, it's always going to be a little moist. Okay. Right? And they get the dry leaves, there you go. See how he's counting? Mm -hmm. So, those are different leaves that he's using to make the blend. That's really dry. Really dry. But if it's moist, it's going to get plugged. True. And okay. if it's moist and it's got all that ammonia, it's those bad tasting cigars that you get sometimes. You don't want that. Right. They get like the, the sap or uh, some sort of liquid that's build up. So yeah, they're really dry. They gotta be dry. They get their tobacco from that gentleman over there. Let me show you this. Buen dia. So what he does is, they'll come, and there's different types, right? Mm -hmm. And he'll give them whatever it is that they're rolling. Mm -hmm. Got a note on it. And it's weighed. It's what? It's weighed, everything is weighed. Okay, weighed, okay. And so, a certain amount of tobacco that's given to you by weight means you have to produce a certain amount of cigars. Mm -hmm. If you produce too few, then you overfill them. Mm -hmm. If you produce too many, then you underfill them. But he knows what needs to be he done today. He knows what needs to be given to them, and they know how many they gotta produce. You come in here. Remember, it's dried over there. Mm -hmm. It's dried over here as well. Oh, that and smell. this is not as bad as that one's going to be over there, but that smell. Oh, right. Yeah, smell like bathroom cleaner. Yeah. Okay. You smell the ammonia? Yes. Boy, it's so thick. all that's emanating from it. Man. Wow. I yeah, know that's on camera, you can't smell the ammonia, but believe me, it's potent. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's bad. These ladies here just work with wrapper. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, so these are the final step, kind they're of? They're deveining wrapper. Oh, they're deveining wrapper, okay, okay. That's what they're doing. They're just deveining wrapper. So you got Connecticut, obviously. That's how bright and yellow it is. That looks really thin. Connecticut's very, very paper thin. Right. And it's very delicate, um, but it also burns very well. And that's why you hardly ever have combustion issues with Connecticut, because it's so thin. The catch is, though, that it's so thin that when they put them inside the molds, a lot of times you get the creases. And so mm -hmm. to get rid of the crease, you gotta give it half a spin and you gotta tighten some more. Sometimes it spends too much time in press mm -hmm. and they'll get plugged. Okay. So it's a, it's a delicate thing. Although the leaves are gonna burn well, sometimes you're wondering why is it plugged? Mm -hmm. Well, because you want it as smooth as possible. Right. Because there's, there's telltale signs when it's not pressed enough. With okay. Connecticut, it just kind of shows everything. Okay. So whatever blemishes are gonna be there. Oh, storage. Oh, that's cold in here. Yes. But you don't smell the ammonia here. Yeah, it's, it's fresh. Because everything's supposed to be the way it is. So this is, um, do you call it storage? What do you call it, aging room? Or the it's an one? aging room. It's an aging room, right? It's an aging room. I mean, there's a few more, but this is the, this is the big one. Um, so and people everything... don't have just age their cigar in 70, 70. You can do it colder. Yeah, you can yeah. do it colder. You can do it colder. You can do it colder. And then everything, of course, is skewed 
And it will tell you, this is Sangre Nueva. Mm -hmm. Oh. So SN, it's a okay. six of it, you know, so you, you have. So Lewis once uh, Lewis leaves this thing, I'm just going to take that entire draw and just bring it home with me. Okay. <laughs> it feels good. <laughs> Over here it's so hot, people don't realize it. Yeah, I know. I know. Um, Over here, what you're gonna have are cigars that broke. Something went wrong. They didn't pass muster. Oh, uh, here we go. So what they'll do is they'll rewrap them. So they, oh, that's a lot more work because you gotta unwrap them. You gotta unwrap them. and rewrap. It was fine up until some point along the way. Mm -hmm. It broke, or something went wrong, or the foreman thought that it was wrong for whatever reason. So mm -hmm. these are all gonna be rejects, and they get redone. Okay. Rewrapped anyway. This is the lunchroom, dining room for them. But you get a great breeze here. Over here, is a, it feels nice. Oh, it's though. a great breeze. Um, that's an oven so they keep the food in there and it's mm -hmm. warm, and then they, they'll take different breaks and eat. Mm -hmm. And over here, he's going to be wedding wrapper. You can, you can peek inside. Okay. So he. That's get it wet and then blow dry again? That's all wrapper. No, that's going to stay on the moist side. So you can't work with wrapper very dry. So he's blowing it. He's blowing that water off, right? Yes, no, he's blowing water on it. On it, okay. Yes. He's misting it. Okay. It's a misting. <clears throat> More boxes. Again, we, we just ran out of space. And this is where packaging is. So we'll, we'll see them doing it. The cello thing, you want to talk about the cello? Right. The watcher in action. Buenos días de nuevo. Buenos días. Va a estar en las redes sociales, hola. Va a estar en las redes sociales, hola. No importa. As you can see, they struggle. No, they don't. Yeah, they don't struggle. They don't struggle. We struggle every yes. time. Look at that. Maybe it's easier when it's brand new. I don't know. It's not, right? It's easier hey, when it's brand new. I Is it? Yeah. That. But yeah. still, the way they open it, it just tactically, and if you watch her put the bands on, look how fast she goes. Is that a half wheel or four wheel? What's That's a that four wheel. It's a four wheel, right? We call that four wheel. Okay. No, they don't really count how many they did, right? Like they know exactly the how many are by touch. Oh. They, they don't know exactly how many are just by touch. If you come over here, what she's doing is she's sorting them according to colors. Mm -hmm. But it's always the same amount. And you'll see her grab. She'll pick out colors. So that way you have even though it's the same cigar. uniformity in the box, but, but visually, right. when you get that box, you want it all to look the same. But yet, the leaves are going to change tones and they're going to have blemishes or this or the other. Um, some of them get rejected outright. Mm -hmm. Some don't. So let her finish. So there's an art to it. Had to do this for a long time. So you're kind of like, hey, I can know exactly how much they weigh. Just grab it. Oh, that's about right. Yeah, it's just kind of cool when they when they grab them all. She'll know exactly what's what. Yeah, she's not even counting them individually. She's no, no, like, no, she doesn't. Yeah, she just holds it by hand. Okay, she does that's it by about hand. Right. And it's always right. It's never a cigar off really? or a cigar more. It's always exact. I mean, I encourage you can sit there and count them all. They're exactly <laughs> the same number. That. But that's yeah, amazing. They, there's never a mistake. That's amazing. Isn't it? It's interesting. So he's putting on barcodes, as you can see. They're banding barcodes, packaging. Oh, you do a lot more Gurkha than I thought you did. I thought you only do the reservers. No, we do a lot. There's, um, these are all four that you see over here. Mm -hmm. Those are shipments. You got to come out. Come out? I mean, they're going to be picked going up out. and okay, sent right. out. Yeah. That one's going to... No, this is me. Casa Cuevas. That's me. Uh, 
This is going to Miami. And there's some that are going to, I think it's Estonia. You see them around the corner. So, wow. We got to keep, keep track of this. So they, yeah, and then she's doing the same thing, banding, and eventually, once you have a certain amount of boxes filled, mm -hmm. then you shrink wrap, like mine, mm -hmm. and then eventually they get packaged, and eventually they get sent. Amazing. These are, this is the packaging equipment that's most used. Packaging. Meaning bands, um, barcodes, that kind of stuff that goes here. Stickers, this and the other. But is there a reason why it's in a, like, uh, one of these? In a room? No, it's just because okay. it just is. But this doesn't mean anything. Yeah. So as you go, there's another one that's over there that's locked in the locking key on the other side. So when you're done doing whatever project you're doing, then mm -hmm. you go to the other one, you bring the others and you fill it up and then you go. What so if I'm doing, let's say, your cigars, mm -hmm. right, they would be here up until they're not. Then and when then we're the next done, project, yeah. then they'd be over there. Oh, okay. And then whatever, and then the next project, they come out again. Raw tobacco. This is wrapper. That's a bono wrapper. From was, you guys grow your own tobacco no. too, right? No? Mm -hmm. no? Just sourced? Okay. Just sourced. Because we had a question the other night. I was like, no, no. Does, does Lewis oh. grab, sell his own tobacco too? No, no, no right? lands. These are clippings. So all that stuff that you see on the floor at the end of the day, mm -hmm. it will all be swept up and cleaned. And then it's put in these things that you see here. And then there's a company that comes and buys this. Mm -hmm. And this is what people use for short fill. Okay. So they have machines. Remember, it's swept up. Mm -hmm. So they have machines at these places where they sort out dirt and grime and rocks and there's no rocks, but stems or whatever. And then you're just left with the leaves and then they'll grind them up. And that's what you get your short fill from. Is it still possible that it's still like, you know? No, I mean, the machines work pretty well. I would mm -hmm. assume it's still possible. Mm -hmm. That's not my gig. Right. That's not my gig, but I know they do it that way. And then you'll, you know, sometimes they'll get flavor, this and the other, but another factory does that and it's their own business. Mm -hmm. They just simply buy from us and from other factories mm -hmm. and then they combine. Which is why when you're smoking a short fill cigar mm -hmm. and they're doing this, if you talk about blends, mm -hmm. there's no way they're the same <laughs> because they're not keeping track of what's what. Here you may have wrapper and filler and binder from four different countries all mixed into one. Oh, so there's no way to tell There's that. no way to tell. Fake Cubans right here. There's no <laughs> way to tell. So, wow. Then that's the way it works across the board. So the only thing that they can tell is the wrapper or maybe binder too. But they're not going to sort that out. They're just looking at leaves. No, but I was saying in terms of like when somebody make a, a, a short fill. Oh, cigar. then you're going to look at the you're going to look at the wrapper and the binder. Yeah, that's, that's the only that's, thing that's, that's like the only matters. thing. Whatever's inside may be from this factory, and the Fuentes factory, and another factory. Assuming they sell the scraps, mm -hmm. which I would think they would. Right. Uh, because if not, it's it's lost money. Mm -hmm. It's lost revenue. I, I yeah, that's just what I thought. I thought I always thought they when they made those short fillers. They know exactly what the short filler is. No. But now it turns out you no. wasn't. No, and then when you wind up flavoring the short fill, then it really doesn't matter. Because sometimes right. they'll, they'll flavor it with mm -hmm. whatever. Yeah, that you could be a piece of paper you can tell. Or right? coffee or this right. or the other. So right now, this is just a couple of days. Oh, this smells good. It, it'll get eventually just out to here, and then the company will come. Mm -hmm. They get weighed out. They know how many pounds they bought, and that's it. And it, it's a flat rate. This smells like plum. It's interesting, though. Right, it smells good. I mean, nothing goes to waste. That's good. Nothing goes to waste. The stems are all thrown away that you saw over there. Remember the stems? Those are useless. Right, right. Those don't get, those don't get sold. In, in, in. I, I, know, I know that we saw a video from Asensia that like, we put that as compost, something like that. I would think that you sell those as compost. So that is what gets swept up. And that's what you have in those bills. All over the floor. So at the end of the day, before, when you get here in the morning, mm -hmm. everything's completely clean. There's uh, no scraps, there's nothing. I also noticed that this press machine, right? Mm -hmm. You don't keep them in there, you just you take them and put them in there. No, 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 the, the press machines are staying on this side. So when they leave at night, the press machines will be next to their, their station, mm -hmm. but they're open up just a little bit. You don't want to leave it pressed overnight because it's okay. too long and it'll become plugged. So they're there for a few hours mm -hmm. and they move. So if they're finished for the day, before they leave, they unpress it, but they leave them there. But you, it's not pressed as long as I thought they would be. They were just like a day? They're, they're, yeah, they're not pressed for days and days and days, no. Hours. Hours, okay. Hours. 
Which is why when you go to a rolling event mm -hmm. and somebody's saying they're rolling fresh cigars, mm -hmm. if they don't have one of these things with them, they're not rolling a fresh cigar. They're putting a wrapper on an oh, already okay. made cigar because there's no time. Right. I can show up at your party, you know, at eight o'clock, and then at midnight he's going to be able to smoke the cigar. Mm -hmm. then, you know. Right. And you have the roller there. What they're doing is they're putting wrapper on. And he's rotating them too. Yeah, you got to rotate them because you get creases. Oh. Oh yeah, I do see that crease now. <clears throat> you get creases. And essentially, that's the whole thing. So it works like that. Mm -hmm. They go from there to the drying room, from the drying room over to him. These people roll their cigars. He inspects them. They go to the aging room. And from there, they go over to the packaging. Mm -hmm. And then packaging finishes the product. Oh, let me show you one more thing I forgot to show you. Come on. It's not a very big operation, but it's not small either. No, it's 20,000 square feet here. And we produce about 3 million cigars a year. Let's see why this chair is here. Is it on? No, it's not on. It's empty right now except for a few. So all the stuff that you see mm -hmm. that's ready to go, mm -hmm. spent three days in here in it's the freezer. It's a fridge, right? It's oh, a freezer. freezer. Oh, okay. So, so the, did you kill the eggs kind of thing? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So three days on, three days off. Three days on. Three days on. Three days off. Full blast kind of and then three days off so you don't get all the condensation. Right. Okay. Yep. That's how it works. Oh. Yes, sir. But yeah, we're out of space. Like as soon as you get some out, more came in, right? The boxes always come in and come in and come in. And you know, but, when, and when you buy boxes from China or whatever, it's always entire 40-foot containers. Of, right, you know. right. But like, for you, it should be easier, right? Majority come from next door. <laughs> no, no, we don't get a, a lot of them from next door. We get oh, some really? of them from next door. But either way, we get them from a local supplier here in, mm -hmm. in Tamboril. Um, yeah, we don't, and I don't have to buy 20,000 on a pot. Mm -hmm. About uh, four thousand pounds of tobacco here, just for the, just for, just for the yeah, no wrapper. Which a lot of bales way more, and that was purchased um, this morning. We dropped it off, so we're putting it over there. We'll sort it, and we'll just start distributing. So from here it goes over there. That's what they've been doing. They've been moving everything. They came maybe a half hour before this got here. Two hundred pounds. <laughs> mm -hmm. You can lift it. Oh. Yeah. All right, all right. yeah, they're really, they're really quite heavy. So the wrapper is going be, like you say, one ninety pounds. One ninety, two hundred, one hundred pounds. You don't have to be as delicate with these because obviously you're going to stay inside, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
No llevan celofán ninguno y los otros solo meten paquetes así sin anillo porque ellos lo distinguen porque yo el anillo es X y el otro es Y, lo que sea, ya saben la diferencia. Ya se ve esto. Un masito de C y un masito de C. Y un masito de C. You can follow her because she's going to put him in the... Five back. <laughs> Okay, he all missed the dice. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, yeah, I missed the dice. 
Gracias. Está perfecto. She was like, you labeled it wrong. She was concerned that the ones weren't all showing. That's okay. Oh no, don't mind. When you guys don't yeah. Hang on, put a... What does this stand for? That's the origin of country. It's Sukhaya, right? Yeah, and this is, well, it's required out of here, not so much, but if you go to the States, mm -hmm. they want to know it's a Dominican Republic, not, uh, a, not okay, a Cuban okay. cigar. All right, sure. Just in case. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, so that will be it for this particular episode. That's pretty much the entire process from beginning to packaging. I hope you enjoyed it. So um, we have more conversations, I think, that we can post. But right now, I think that's what you guys want to focus on is how the factory works, how it really looks like. There's no like, you know, nice office, wooden, nice dark wood table, clean and everything. It's not like that. But, you know, when, when, when you watch a commercial and stuff like that, they roll on a specialized table, you know, special set and everything. It gives you that storytelling feel to it, right? So this is the actual thing. And only the members see it right now. And later on, maybe uh, the viewer of this channel will get to see it. But that's pretty much it. That's, it's raw. It's, it is what it is. It's pretty much the same across all factories. That's how it is. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next month.